Hi there. Welcome to the second installment of how to transfer photos from an iPhone to a PC. In this case, I'm using an iPhone 6 and it's going to a Windows 10 PC. Simply plug in your data cable into your phone and into your laptop and one of several things can happen. The most annoying one is simply nothing. Plugging it in might bring up a sound showing it's charging, but nothing shows up and you're listing under PC. This can frequently happen when you're using an aftermarket charging cable. They're not really designed for data transfer. You can unplug it, flip it over, plug it back into the phone and see if it works. But if it doesn't work, you might want to go with an OEM cable. You might also see this message when you plug in the phone. If you do, let it go ahead and install the device. It will take quite a while, but go ahead and let it run all the way to completion. More likely than not, you'll see this message. When it does appear, it won't stay there long. Double click on it and it will bring up a dialog box like this. Scroll down till you get to open device to view files. That's what I prefer to use. And from there, it'll bring up a screen like this and it will show you the files that are on your iPhone. Double click on internal storage and you get the DCIM message, double click on that, and it will bring up a number of folders if you have a lot of pictures and videos on your iPhone. One of the peculiarities of the iPhone is that these folders do not appear in chronological order. You just have to experiment. Let's go ahead and take 104 Apple here, and it brings up a number of pictures. We can determine when these were taken by going to View, Details, click on Modified, twice, there we back, and the most recent of these was taken on February 7, 2016. Now I've got a lot of other files in here too, uh, different types of image files, so let's go with just the JPEGs. And it brings those up, and now if we go back to View, X-Large icons, we can see them in here. Let's go ahead and take, oh, quite a few of these, um, down to probably right here, and hit Shift-Click, and that highlights quite a few of them. Let's say I don't want this one here because it looks to be a duplicate. I'm going to hit the Control key, click again, and it deselects that. Now, the rest of these in here, I can copy to the clipboard, hit Control c I could also right-click on any one of them, and select Copy. And let's just go over to Pictures, and let's go ahead and create a new folder. The home screen, click New Folder, and we'll just call it Demonstration. Enter, Enter, and now I'm going to hit Control v and you'll see it brings in those 11 pictures. Let's go back to View, Extra Large Icons, and you notice this particular one here is upside down. Let's right-click on that, rotate right, rotate right again, and it's right side up now. And all these are saved in here. And that's really all there is to it. Follow these steps, and you'll be able to transfer all your pictures from your iPhone to your PC.